Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today we're here to cover chinch bugs. We're going to cover what are chinch bugs, what does the damage look like, and how to treat. So let's get into it. First thing to look for when you have chinch bugs is the damage. Here's a yard with several different spots of chinch bug damage here. Ranging from small, medium, to large areas. You can see these areas are fully brown. And a good giveaway that is chinch bugs is the yellow ring around. Now if you can see the yellow around the brown areas, that's a good sign that you have chinch bugs. Now another good sign that you may have chinch bugs is ants, big-eyed bugs, and spiders. All those eat chinch bugs. So if you're seeing a lot of ant mounds in the bare areas and a bunch of activity, again, that's another good sign to, to start looking closer and that it may be chinch bugs. Now why chinch bugs can do so much damage is because they have a piercing sucking mouth part. So the first thing they do is they poison the grass blade which kills it and weakens it then sucks the juices out of the grass completely killing the blade. So the second that those chinch bugs poison the grass blade the grass is dead. There's no coming back. These areas once treated will need to be raked up and soil put down but the best way I recommend is just to do sod. When searching for chinch bugs, you don't want to look in the brown areas that they have already fed on. You want to look around in the yellow or green areas around the main brown area. Now there's two, two major ways to look. One that's recommended is you get a can, you cut it out and you stick it in the ground and put in water and the chinch bugs will float to the top. Um, that's very commonly recommended, but I don't know a lot of people that do that, especially the professionals out in the field. They don't have time to do that. For a homeowner, it may work well. But I'll give you another really quick, easy way without taking all those extra steps to find chinch bugs. Now, I'll show you how to search for chinch bugs, but it may be hard to actually see them on the camera. So here's a picture of the chinch bugs in all their stages. Chinch bugs will start off orange with a white stripe. Those are the nymphs. So the first stages, they're extremely, extremely small on the lawn, but their bright orange will stand out. As they grow, they turn black with the white stripe, and that white gets bigger and bigger on their back as the chinch bug gets bigger, and eventually becomes an X when they're a full, a white X on their back when they become a full adult. And that X is the wings, because chinch bugs do grow wings as a full adult. Now do not mistake in chinch bugs as big eyed bugs, and here's a picture of big eyed bug. Those actually eat chinch bugs, but are very similar without the stripe. Now that you know what a chinch bug looks like, it's time to look for them. He said best thing to do is not look for them around in the brown areas. You want to look around the ring where it's green. So what I always do is to spread the grass apart like this. And you probably can't see, but they're moving around here. They love to chew down at the bottom. There's a bunch of baby nymphs right here. This is the area. There's a chinch bug right there. This is the area where they chew on. Let me pull out the grass. This is where the ch chinch bugs are gonna be. They're gonna be in the thatch layer, feeding on the bottom of the grass here. So by pulling the grass apart like this and waiting, watch for movement and you'll start to see them scatter and move around. Like I said, you wanna do it around the green outside area, not in the brown. That is where they have already fed. Best way to avoid getting chinch bugs is just to keep a healthy turf. This is a very healthy yard. It has a little bit of thatch, um, but not something out of the ordinary. Chinch chinch bugs can come from anywhere. Like I say, once they become adults, they get wings. So there's no particular reason why this yard got it. All you can do is keep your yard as healthy as possible, and that'll be the best way to naturally help prevent chinch bugs. Prevention and treating methods would be a contact and in systemic insecticides. Because chinch bugs live in all life cycles together in one, you'll need to go both ways. By applying a contact, anything that contacts, you will kill. You don't have a hard shell, so a contact insecticide can get them. Um, but living deep in the thatch and things like that, you may not get all of them. So by doing putting down a systemic insecticide, which will go into the plant, as they feed on the plant, the insecticide will kill them. Two treatments is recommended, and I highly do not recommend any granular products. Uh, granular insecticides do not work well. Best thing to probably do as a homeowner is get a professional. 
uh, or do your research on what products work for your area. Catching it early, like a small spot like this, yes, this is chinch bugs as well. See the yellowing all around, and once you get in there, you can see them. If you're able to identify this early and contact your company and let them come out, minimal damage, no sod necessary. You can just put some sand and soil into those areas and they will recover. This is Chad with Turf Organics and this was all about chinch bugs. This is good to know whether you have a company or not. Most companies will do prevention, but prevention is not perfect. All pests are a lot easier to treat when noticed early and treated then, but any pre prevention methods are not 100% guaranteed, so it's why it's always good to arm yourself with the knowledge of what's going on in your lawn. With any questions or anything like that, please feel free to message us or comment on any of our videos. Thank you very much.